Traditional credit scoring simply are simple. They use a few factors to try to describe the credit profile of a borrower or applicant. So over the years, new mechanisms have come out. And actually a lot of that has been applied by the many fintechs out there, which is called the alternative credit scoring, which is essentially to use alternative, alternative data, unlike the traditional data that I mentioned, like the five elements of data, to assess the credit profile. The financial institutions using alternative credit scoring could actually improve their revenue up by 15%. And also at the same time, to reduce their credit losses by up to 40%. And also very importantly, that is almost for sure, is that by using this smarter alternative credit scoring, they have also improved their efficiency. What is alternative credit scoring? I would say there are two key elements. One, the use of alternative data, which I'm going to describe to you a bit more what are examples of alternative data. And also the use of newer uh, quantification technique like using machine learning instead of the simple linear regression. The combination of these two would help you to improve your credit scoring mechanism. So if you look at this screenshot which is extracted from the HKMA paper, so step one, collect your alternative data sources. Step two, apply uh, adaptive credit scoring which essentially is about using machine learning because we know machine learning can adapt and learn from the new parameters that are appearing in your credit profile uh, customers. And then after you have the score, you've, you can make the decision either automatically or if it's a more complex loan with a bigger company, you can involve human and so on, right? And lastly, of course, this would, uh, once approved or rejected, uh, the applicant would actually receive the necessary notification. So these are some examples of alternative data that we could maybe easily produce like utility bills and all this information could be collected either directly with the consent of the borrower or through uh, third-party data aggregator and so on. So these are just a short list of a long list of alternative data that are useful in understanding a credit profile. We could use AI and more specifically machine learning with alternative data and alternative data often come in different forms, structured and often unstructured which makes JSON a great choice and of course, MongoDB, a uh, even better choice. Second, you can use generative AI in addition to ML to do what? To advise when you reject the application. You can use Gen AI to explain why you reject. What are the areas it can be improved? So that someone who gets a rejection can do something to get a better credit. And third, it can also recommend you an alternative solution to what you're asking. So that combination about uh, uh, handling the multimodal data and also that unification with vector data to perform AI and Gen AI is very important. Let's basically now look at Rejig's uh, profile and we'll basically at how he stands in this particular uh, position. Like I said, he is not so careful with his money, so he makes a lot of payments and so the financial model, the alternative credit scoring model basically deters him as a poor credit help. And that's concerning because both have a same tradi uh, credit score, uh, according to tra uh, traditional credit scoring techniques, but one is given the choice to avail that credit product that he's applying for, whereas the one is rejected. And understanding these kind of scenarios becomes extremely challenging or hard for individuals. And that's where basically the power of LLM comes into picture, wherein along with the uh, alternative credit scoring ML techniques, you can use large language models to explain it back to the end customers, how easy it is to dissect his credit profile, how easy to understand, you know, like, how can I improve my credit score, the suggestion, the advice, and how do I basically improve it? So this tool also lets us automate this. So before this, this doesn't disqualify that, you know, uh, Raging is not, av cannot avoid any products as well. So he still offered some basic products, uh, unlike Mark products. So I just wanted to show you that first. So as you can see, you know, he's offered very limited number of credit products that he can avail at this point of time. And uh, you can also note that, you know, the credit description has changed from earlier to now. And this is a more personalized 
uh, product description that is uh, you know provided to the end customer and we'll talk about this later on when we get into the descriptions uh, I powering with LLMs and um, so now uh, if I basically see where I can actually simulate or correct it I can observe that you know the monthly rental for Rajik is quite high and what if I can cut back on my expenses that is unwanted and basically I can take some corrective measures will my credit score improve will, will I be able to avail these other products so that's what we are actually going to see with this demo I'm trying to simulate uh, you know Rajik has considerably taken actions on his expenditures and reduced his uh, uh, you know the monthly rental commitment that he's got and voila so he's now credit status is good and and that is also reflected as a part of his user profile the credit profile that you know the LLMs is able to generate but that doesn't change the traditional credit score he's still got the same traditional credit score why is this there is a clear difference on the number of features what we can apply with up, I know alternative credit scoring and ML models Whereas when you basically want to introduce them to your credit scoring techniques, you, you need to vet a feature entirely and have enough data to do it. So here we can see that now that, you know, Rajik has got a lot more options like uh, earlier what Mark had and similar kind of premium products are made available for Rajik as well uh, to avail and, you know, to help with his business at the same time, earn some reward points and, you know, have a very comfortable, you know, cashback rewards. 